Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. My name is Falcon Punch 64 and last episode took care of Rock Tunnel and I believe Lieutenant Surge too, but um, we had a mishap that made us take a lot longer than we wanted to take. Um, oh, great. But anyway, we, um, we are now on our way to Celadon City, one of my favorite cities in the entire game because there's just so much stuff that you can do there and it just really opens the game up a bit once you get to Celadon City. Makes traveling so much easier once we actually get there. And let's go ahead and use Sand Slash to cut this spot and try to avoid the trainers as much as possible because we do not want to get in any fights. We are a pacifist and well, really just because I'm lazy. I'm on guard. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, the roads are closed and that dog will not shut the fuck up today. She just keeps barking at nothing. It's really annoying. It's not that I, it's not that the dog barking bothers me because it's noise. It's it's just because it just it distracts me. Like it breaks my concentration because then I start wondering what is she barking at? Like what's out there that's got her mad? And nine times out of ten, there's nothing out there. So it's kind of annoying having to constantly wonder what the hell is she barking at? Anyway, I always ended up talking about the dog in the let's plays because uh my recording schedule is so messed up that it's just like you know i record whenever i get a chance instead of actually you know picking my spots uh we are in the wrong building we don't actually need to come here yet I swear to god she will not stop she's been she's been relentless today the other dogs don't even care so apparently she's not barking at anything because if there was something out there, they would all be barking and howling and screaming and all that stuff they usually do. But I don't know what's wrong with her today. She just won't shut up. Actually, no, we want to go in here really quick. We got to talk to this guy up here. Go ahead, laugh. I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. That's how you get a coin case. You just talk to this guy. Um, I've had to look that up before, so I just figured I'd show you how to get that. Uh, there's nothing in here. I don't think we need anything out of there. We got to go to... What is it called? I um, can't remember what it's called exactly. It's where like this old lady has tea, and you get it from her, and that helps open up the roads at least, where you don't have to worry about that anymore, about the guy saying, I'm thirsty, you can't go through. You get rid of that guy entirely for the rest of the game. I think it's right here, actually. Is she in here? Yeah, she's in here. All right. My dear Pokemon, keep me company. Meowth even brings money home. Oh, you have an adorable Pikachu with you. Your Pikachu looks happy with you. Um, I thought she was supposed to give us some tea. Maybe you can get some water or something or a soda or... Maybe you have to do the Mart thing and actually go up there and get the soda on this version. We will see. And there's no elevator in this version, apparently. Nope, no elevator like in the last one. This is tiring a bit. A little bit tedious. Vending machine. Let's get a fresh water. He looks happy. Look at him. He's all happy and wound up. Soda pop. And let's also get lemonade. I don't know which one he wants. My sister is a trainer. I believe, believe it or not, she's also so immature. It drives me nuts. Yeah, I know. You can get some TMs from her if you just give her the various drinks. Um not really i'm not trying to fill up my inventory right now honestly i really need to sell stuff all right what do you sell yeah my pack is full so i can't do anything else right now anyway um oh he, they sell tens but they won't tell you what they are that's kind of dumb um 
We can get rid of this escape rope, don't need it. Get rid of the, uh, no, we need the potions. Get rid of the ether, don't need it. Um, you can have the nugget because literally it's just war made to sell. And max ether, don't need it. I can use a fresh water now because I'm dried out. I'm dry as a desert right now. Give me a moment to actually get some water so I don't lose my voice midstream. I have done a lot better with um, my voice because see when I used when I first started doing let's plays and podcasts again I lose my voice after like five to ten minutes and now I can record for at least an hour or two constantly talking without losing my voice completely that fucking dog won't shut up whoa boy I'm parched huh can I have this drink gee thanks Glug, 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 gulp. If you want to go to Saffron City, you can go on through. I'll share this with the other guards. See, now you've opened the roads up. I don't know which drink he took, but, um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Just, I'm thinking about stupid shit. That's all it that was. Sometimes I just sit here and I think of something completely stupid. <laughs> That might not necessarily be appropriate to say on the show. <laughs> See, I always tell people that I would be like the guy in solitary that would just be laughing his ass off if you threw me in this in the hole in prison. Because I would just be sitting there thinking of really stupid shit the entire time. Hold on. Sorry about that. I had to go out there and shut the door so the dog would just shut up. I, I kept losing my focus right there. Anyway. Let's get through here. I'm sorry that I have so many cuts during the show. Is literally I can't plan when I'm uh, I'm gonna record this stuff. It's kind of hard. So we're gonna come over here to this house, this quote-unquote secret house, and talk to this woman right here. Oh, you found my secret retreat. Retreat. We tweet. Anyway, <laughs> plus don't tell. Uh, please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up, um, make it up to you with this. See, my brain's fried right now. HMO2, that's fly, which will make travel incredibly simple from now on, where we don't have to go through all these tunnels and stuff from now on. If you find a location, you can fly to it, basically. I don't know why that you would need to find a location, because you already have a map, but I guess it's so you don't cheese the entire game. They make it where you don't see nothing ever again because you just fly to every location after that. Um, where is HMO2? HMO2, boot it up, fly. Would you like to teach Pokemon fly? Yes, we have to give it to Firo. Fly is also a very good offensive move. It's like the bird equivalent of dig, so it's very useful. We're gonna put it with growl and poof. Vero has learned to fly. Learning to fly. I'm not going to sing because my voice is bad today. Um, I should have drank some Clyde or before. Actually, that's a lot easier where you just sort of. Yeah, look at that. That's kind of neat. Well, let's go back to Celadon City. Watch how fast it says. Just zap. And here we are. Just saved a bunch of time. So we need to go to the Team Rocket hideout so we can get the self scope. And. I hope I remember how to do this, actually. We're in the wrong building. Um, it was not too terribly complicated from what I remember. We have to go talk to this Team Rocket grunt. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. And we will speed through this fight like we always do. And our hideout might be discovered. I better tell the boss. Hey. A switch behind the poster? Let's push it. Yeah, what if it caused the self-destruct sequence and everyone dies? Alright, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Um, so this is the key card one. I think we have to go to the third floor? 
Is there a store in here? No. That's just going back up. So, hold on. I'm trying to... I'm trying to remember which dungeon we're actually trying to remember. I think that was the other one I'm thinking about. Well, let's get uh, this and see what this is. A moonstone, we could use that. We actually need one of those to level up that Clefairy. Or that Nido Queen, if we want to get that, get a Nido Queen out of that. Don't know if we want to do that or, well, the Clefairy could use it. Or you could use it on a Jigglypuff, I think. TMO7. I still can't believe there's limited space in the inventory and that we've already maxed it out. That we might actually have to use my home PC. That sucks. That's just, that's bad. Let's go ahead and save really quick to make sure that we're good on that. I believe this is the elevator and this should take us down to, it appears it needs a key. Go ahead and blast through this guy. Um, is this the key? No, that's just our proportion. Do you have the key? Intruder alert. Why don't you come help your friend when I was beating his ass? Nope. No key. No dice. All right, so. Well, he has the most Pokemon, so he might have the key after all. I don't, I don't know. What does he say? Team Rocket has four floors. Can you reach the boss? Yeah, if I have the key, which I don't know where the key is, but we've already come from up there, so I guess we gotta just keep going lower. Uh, I mean, I literally don't remember the, the exact details of the remake version, but. Go ahead and go, but you need the lift key to run the elevator. Um. I'm getting, I always get this one in Selfco building mixed up where I can't remember exactly how to get out of either one of them. Unfortunately, well, what's this? Rare candy. I'll take it, even though we don't need it. Um, I'm just, I'm just looking at the, the plot. The, I mean, I'm just looking at the directions, trying to see where we want to go exactly. So we've already pretty much cleared out this floor from what I can tell. I need to remember to keep the microphone away from the, the controller because this clicky on the clicking the buttons is actually getting into some of the recordings. I know it's not that loud, but still I want to keep the recordings as, as uh, clean and professional as possible with the equipment that I have which I'm using this AT2020, which I, I keep thinking I need to get closer to, but I keep remembering the AT2020 doesn't like it when you smooch it. It, it wants you to stay away from it, kind of. <laughs> just just imagine it's a hot woman. You, you want to be at least, well, half an arm's length away from it. So about, you know, two fists away is what I've kind of used as my measurement. It's like, if you go two fists away, you should be pretty good, because it is a... Anytime I get really close, if I get really close right there, you can see what it does. It just kind of muffles and gets too loud and sounds like shit. So that's why I actually like that because it really helps with plosives, you know, and it also 
The reason I bought it and stopped using the SM58 was because the SM58 was too picky about position, where if you had it just barely in the wrong spot, like, you know, if it was like barely an inch off, it would start sounding really bad. So I just like this more because I can handle the noise, you know, to make it a clean signal. And I think that's probably the key, actually. Now let's just, um... Use this potion and see what this is. That's an HP up. That's not the that's not the key. Um, yeah, but I, I just like this microphone more because it, it just um uh, who cares what we give it to who we give that to. Um I, I just like it more because it's easier to deal with. You know, the noise really isn't a problem for me, which a lot of people say is a downside of a condenser. For me, the upside of a condenser is, you know, mainly that consistency. Like, I can move around, and it's not going to affect the tone that much. You know, I, I don't have to constantly measure, and, you know, you see people with the... Anytime you see someone with a dynamic microphone on a stream, have you ever noticed that they're always messing with it? <laughs> like, constantly moving it around, and... Um, trying to figure out how to get it in the right spot and you know just had to keep readjusting it constantly for some reason that's why with this i just i put it two fists away and it sounds like this and i think it sounds good enough i'll be right back let's figure this out okay i got it like you like you know i, I just don't like to dawdle at all with these games i i, I really do i really can't stand wandering around meandering and just you know randomly like where do i go where do i go what do i do yeah i, I can't stand that uh i don't, I don't want to put on a show that has that happen basically all right so it's supposed to be the fourth level down um well i'm guessing i don't know how far down we are necessarily but so we know it's the fourth level at least Actually, well, maybe this does look the same as Fire Red was. Okay, so let's start at the top again really quick. So this is first floor. This is the second floor. Let's get this item over here really quick while we're at it. What is it? Oh my god, that's so annoying. Um, I don't know what Double Edge does, just toss it. TM11, what does this do? Bubble Beam, we need to give that to... Mm, no, we're not going to bother with giving that to Nido King. We're going to keep it the Thunder Wave. I don't care about no toss that piece of shit. That's only good. That's only good to paralyze a Pokemon. That's not worth keeping. This is Dig. Keep it because we want to use that for someone else. Thunderbolt. Uh, I'm not really interested in that either. Well, yeah, I'm just not interested in it. Because Pikachu already has Thunderbolt. I mean, you have to keep Pikachu in the party as far as I know, so there's no point using that TM. Razor Wind. Um, not sure what it does, so let's just throw it out. We, we just need room. That's the, that's the big problem here. What is this? A Nugget. That's worth five grand, so that's worth it. I should just sell the TMs, but... I mean, we're kind of in a, in a bind right now where we're trying to figure out how to get down to the fourth level of this place. At least the music's good. All right, so that's not gonna work. Fuck. Um... I'm so confused already. I don't know why this is so much harder this time around.
There's just there's nothing down there, okay? I'm sure you're screaming at the screen trying to tell me what to do, but I can't hear you, sorry. <laughs> I mean obviously. That's what that's this is why I, I try to go away and the problem is I can't find a walkthrough on YouTube about this particular version of the game or even red and blue without having to watch some other guy fuck around for ever and try to figure it out himself i mean just yeah it sucks but i'm doing the best i can so this is kind of this is just kind of shitty but so there's another stairwell down I believe this is where the key is, though. Okay. No. Did, did I already get the key? Do I have the lift key? Am I being... No. I thought I was being an idiot, but that's... That's where the lift key was in the video, I thought. It was right there. There's Giovanni, I think. Am I just wrong or something? I mean... I don't know what's going on here. I'm just, I'm completely just confused at this moment. I don't, I don't understand this at all. I, I'm just, I, I'm bumble fucked. I don't, if that's, is that a word? There's no lift key in here. There's no fucking lift key. That was where it was in the video, though. And there's nothing down there. I just don't know what the hell's going on here. No, I can't reach the boss because I think it's been glitched out where I don't. I can't get the fucking key. I'm starting to get angry now at this point because this is bullshit. It shouldn't be this damn complicated. This is a fucking Game Boy game for fuck's sake. What is that? Escape rope. Do I really need to watch a 20 minute video just to get through this fucking level? I swear to God, if I do, I'm just, I'm just gonna scream probably. I hate, I hate long, drawn out, tedious fucking stuff. It's, it's boring. Okay, I'll be back. Again. Okay, actually, you know what? We're going to take this a different route because I forgot something very crucial that is going to just save us a lot of headache. So we're just going to skip this this dungeon entirely. Fuck this dungeon. It sucks. Um, I forgot that we didn't even need to come here, really. Uh, I know that sounds funny, but you know, you're probably wondering, how do you do that? Well, this particular version of the game, you don't have to come here. Um, and red or blue, really, you, there is a way to dodge all this bullshit. It's just a matter of going to, actually, we need to go back to Celadon because I'm stupid. Uh, we had to go back to Celadon really quick. Had to go to the Pokemart or Pokemall, whatever you want to call it, and go get a Pokedoll. The web, the, not weapon, item that's absolutely worthless and the remakes I don't know exactly which floor it's on, so we will have to see. Uh, we'll just have to ask around. This guy sells TMs, the other guy doesn't. Uh, can we help you? Do you sell Pokedot? Nope, you don't. But do you sell... Oh, do you sell... Do, um, can't talk. Uh, let's see. Give me five of those. And then give me about five great balls. Great balls of fire. Let's go up here. We're going to just skip that dungeon entirely. Thank God this glitch exists. And you just hit the wrong floor, why don't you, dummy? That's a long trip down to the first floor. Uh, let's try third floor. It's a matter of getting a Poke doll. Um, this is where you play a bunch of Super Nintendos, I guess. Hi, I finally finished po um <sighs> Do we want to give this to anybody? Do 
What do you want to give me? He gave me a TM. Lovely. What is this? I'm going to have to go and just dump my inventory into my PC. Counter? I don't even care about this. Throw it away. <laughs> I don't care about this stupid thing. Yeah, you just take it back, asshole. You're cluttering up my very limited, apparently, inventory. So next time we go to a pokey, whatever you call it, a pokey center, we really need to dump all this garbage in there. Um... Where's Poke Doll? Poke Doll, one thousand dollars. Thank you. That's that's worth every damn penny. Um, I don't think we can evolve Pikachu though, can we? Well, if we can't, we're gonna use the Thunderstone on a different Pokemon. Fuck off with this! <laughs> okay, I'm calm. We're going right to a Poke Center right now. What was the Pokemon that could teleport? Was it Nidoking? No. Butterfree, teleport. Can't use it right now, apparently. Lovely. Thank you. All right, now will you use it when we go outside? To save us some steps. Jack's PC. Deposit. Everything. Antidotes. Take them. You take the dome fossil. No, we need to keep those because that's a glitched item. TM11, take it. SSN, ticket, take it. HMO one, take it. Take this. I wish I could put my own stuff in Dropbox. Just like take physical items that I actually own and be like, you know what? I want to move all this stuff from here to the new house. So you just go to a PC and you're like, yeah, let's just all this crap. You moving companies would be out of business. Uh, we we're gonna we would sell that we probably will at some point but just sell all this bullshit not sell it but get rid of it because we just it, it's so irritating that just every time we try to do something it's just like oh you can't you ain't got no more inventory space well, now we do hell we can just get rid of the bike too We don't even need it for the bike trail, I don't think. If we do need it for the bike trail, we'll just go the other way. Because we went the bike trail the last time. Alright, go ahead and... Firo, fly us to... What do you call it? Lavender Town. Let's get this over with. Let's actually heal our Pokemon before we actually go in there. We'll actually have to do it in the last, in the next part because we are coming up on time anyway. I'm sorry this episode was so sort of scatterbrained. I will see you in the next episode. Please take care. Like, comment, subscribe. Share with your friends. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye for now.